Hey guys, so I know I've been gone for a few days, I haven't uploaded anything, and that's just because I was kind of sick, or really sick actually, but I'm better now, and I'm coming to you with a miniature haul. I know it's kind of like an oxymoron, because if you say haul, then you expect it to be big, but it's not really that big, but... Whatever. I don't know what other word to use besides haul. I got these items in the mail and also in store. So I will differentiate between whether I got them in mail and whether I got them in the store as I go along. So let's just get right into it. The first item I got is this, uh, it's going to be backwards, but whatever. Clinique High Lengths Mascara. And I got this in store at Sephora, but you can also buy it online and at the Clinique website. It's actually a featured item, and I didn't know that, so I'm kind of glad I have it now. This is what attracted it to me the most. Check out that brush. Yeah, I know you think it's supposed to be like a barrel with bristles, but it's not. And if you look closely, it has little um, rivets. And... It's perfectly curved, so it goes on easily. What they use inside of here, it doesn't clump up. It's very, it glides on, and it just, it looks like a natural life. Flashes. As $14. The next thing I got from Sephora, Michael Kors Leg Shine. I know it's backwards, I'm sorry. And I also just want to apologize for the delay because I know there's going to be a delay between what I'm saying and when my mouth is moving. So please don't let that distract you because the items I got, maybe you'll like them. So I apologize already. The thing was only about $10 and they had a lot of mini things like mini perfume, mini deodorant, mini face um, spray. And so yeah, I like this a lot. This is what it looks like. It's brown. It smells heavenly. It sh comes off really, it doesn't come off brown, it just comes off as a shine. Now that you can see it. I'll probably do a tutorial on it um, on my real camera. Awesome. It doesn't replace lotion, but it is um, moisturizing. It just adds a hint, a pop of color to your leg. I don't know. It shines and it smells good and it's great for summer. Yay! What I got in the mail was something I needed for a long time and it was my Hair Art Flat Iron. And I'm not going to dedicate a lot of time to talking about it and I don't even have the iron here. I just have the cool little heat resistant package they gave me. Like, when I got my chi iron, they didn't give me no heat resistant package. Hair art is already better, and I did my hair a bit already, and I love it. Like, it's awesome. Um, but I'm not going to dedicate um, a lot of time to it, because I'm going to do my own review and tutorial for the hair art flat iron that I got. But these are some things that I got from forever21.com. So don't ask me if it's in the store or what section of the store because I don't know if it's even going to be there because I got them online. And this is a headband that I got. Check out the detailing. And it's one of these scrunchy things. So yeah. Well, I'm not going to put it on. This was $5.80, which is pretty expensive for a Forever 21 headband, but I love this because I think it's very 1920s flapper inspired, and I kind of like that time era and what the fashion was, so when I wear it, I'm probably going to do it like this and wear it like across, whatever, you guys get the point. Anyway, this is in a peach color, I would have gotten it in black, but I have so many black headbands, so the second thing I got from Forever 21 is what I'm wearing as a shirt right now. It is just a gray um, scoop neck kind of t-shirt and it's just a regular shirt like this. Um, so yeah, I love it. Very Native American-y, if you can 
see it. And yeah, got that online as well. The set, the third, sorry, and final thing that I got from Forever 21 online or .com. These sandals, they're Gladiator, which is a trend, I suppose. And they have two buckling straps here, and they go in there. So yeah, you get the idea. And they're brown. They were only seven eighty, I think. So, don't expect them to last long. I think the last thing I have for this miniature haul, like I said, it are these shoes that I got from the $15store.com. And I saved them for last because they're kind of like a finale and because I like them the most. And basically, they sell couture things and everything at the on the store's website is $15. Everything. These are the shoes that I got. Just way easy. Just, just breathe them in and look at them. Oh so yes, these were only fifteen dollars, marked down from sixty-five dollars. They are by a company called Red Kiss. Um, haven't heard of them before, but these boots are splendiferous. They take after cowboy boots because they are kind of westerny, and they're like a moss olive green. And like every, like the two other things that I've showed you already, they have like. The, stone, the rhinestones and like jewel detailing and yes I love them so that is my miniature haul for you guys um like I said it was very small but items that I thought were worth sharing is that it? yeah it is it um but the review on the hair art and that's pretty much it thank you for watching this and I hope you have a great evening. I actually forgot a big purchase that I made while I was in Georgetown. I not only went to Sephora and picked up these items, but I went to Urban Outfitters and I got this dress. Oh. This is what it looks like. That's the back. It was from Urban Outfitters, and literally they had a rack that was like, these dresses are $9.99, get them. So I was like, $9.99? So I got it. It's blue. It's floral. That's truly the end of my haul. So, bye!